Hey what's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another video. Today for you guys I want to talk about a leak that has been circulating over the past week suggesting that a Disney platform fighter, yeah that's right, a Super Smash Bros clone in the realm of Disney is apparently in development. This was posted about a week ago over on Reddit, uh, basically revealing a bunch of images as well as the actual name of the game known as Disney Domination. Uh, the leaker went forward to actually uh, explain that apparently this game has been in development since late 2017, which my god, if this was real, that is a long ass time to be in development with a slated release date of apparently 2024. Uh, apparently all of the images that are attached to this are from an early 2021 build and that the game is being developed by none other than Square Enix. Now, uh, just to get the information out, just to give you guys the confirmation this leak is 100% fake, I'm going to include the images uh, in this video because I am not worried about this video here being taken down uh, or me getting in the absolute swamps with any company because yeah, it's, it's definitely 100% fake, like there's some really interesting concept art images here. Like the first one we have is of like a badass Mickey uh, facing towards a plume of smoke with uh, apparently Woody talking to him. We have to stop him now! We got Thanos, cause like, yeah, obviously, I mean, I can imagine that if a Disney platform fighter uh, were to be an actual thing, Thanos would probably be like the villain if there was going to be a narrative behind it. But like, we got Thanos standing here uh, with apparently Spider-Man talking to Stewie Griffin, saying Stewie get down now, Stewie saying the hell is that, or something like that, probably in regards to Thanos here. There is, of course, an image of Spider-Man saying, where is he? Where is Mickey? You can already tell by these three concept art images that the consistency of the artwork is different for all of the images. So right there, obviously pretty big red flag. Flameface, uh, who I'm assuming would be another villain saying, I think you underestimate my abilities, rat. You will perish. I just cannot even imagine that if Disney made a platform fighter, there would be something said in regards to something like this, with Mickey being referred to as a rat. Oh yeah, and also like Stewie Griffin saying like, what the hell? I also think that like, if a Disney platform fighter were to be a thing, well, I think that Family Guy is cool. Uh, and I definitely do enjoy the Family Guy characters and cast. I just don't think Family Guy <laughs> would be an option uh, for playable characters in the game, at least not first off the bat anyway. Another one here of some interesting looking orb that looks like it's been ripped off some kind of graphics website. Woody, Mickey, listen to me. All of our friends are gone. The only thing we can do now is to try stop flame face. This one here of what looks like a badass looking Buzz Lightyear known as Emperor Lightyear. Your little friend is dead. I just, I like, I can't imagine that Disney would do this. Like, I, I would assume maybe they would take the gritty raw route for a platform fighter in regards to like its narrative and stuff. We've seen Disney take some pretty interesting directions like in the past, uh, definitely with like Mirrorverse with the character designs in that mobile phone game. And then even looking at like Epic Mickey, some of the stuff in those games is pretty out the gate, pretty wild, pretty different for Disney. But like to this level, absolutely not. But the images that piqued my interest the most were certainly the Kingdom Hearts related ones. Uh, the images of Donald and Goofy in the Kingdom Hearts outfits looking like it's actually in game and even this image here of a silhouette of Mickey saying it's time to end this for good with him wielding the keyblade. Now I've tried to look around to see exactly where the original source of all of these images are from and uh, aside from the Kingdom Hearts models of Donald and Goofy I can't find the source for the rest but uh, yeah looking at the Donald and Goofy images these are just simple Super Smash Bro Ultimate mods. Nothing more, nothing less. You can see from the footage here from Sharkbait Mods on YouTube. Uh, yeah, this is from Smash Ultimate. Even with the uh, font change mod going on, I think it's even like ripped from this video or perhaps the person just downloaded the mod and the font pack and took images of their monitor. Yeah, pretty simple stuff. And you know, even looking at like the title screen uh, image right here, suggesting that it is developed by Square Enix, we've got like a copyright thing of 2024. 
not in 2024. Uh, I believe the original OP of the Reddit post mentioned that uh, apparently the game is slated for 2024, hence the copyright information displaying that year, but it's just, it's not how it works, and like so many of these images scream absolute fakeness. But that's not to say that a Disney platform fighter uh, couldn't be a real thing at some point sooner rather than later. I don't believe that Square Enix would actually be responsible for this. I mean, who knows? Uh, Square Enix and Disney do have a pretty good relationship, and they know that they can make a competent Disney game, at least when it does come to Kingdom Hearts. How I'd feel about uh, Square Enix making a platform fighter, though, a little bit unsure, but just the general idea about a Disney platform fighter, while I don't think it would be a smash killer, uh, or anything to compete with Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I certainly think it would be a cool venture. The absolute repertoire of characters that Disney actually do have at their disposal, uh, very much so in comparison to something like Warner Bros. Or, of course, uh, looking at like Nickelodeon and their cast of characters, while there's some really cool and iconic characters part of that cast, uh, I think Disney would probably have the best shots, so long as they do have a good developer behind the actual project, to make something that I don't think would compete at the same level as Smash, but to at least make an enjoyable platform fighter. Yeah, we could even see the likes of Kingdom Hearts characters, Sora, and the rest of them being involved in this lineup if it were to be a real thing. This would also cover a lot of interest between uh, a wide range of audiences, just because when you look at the repertoire of characters that Disney have at their disposal, you have Star Wars characters. There's absolute endless amounts of them, especially looking at Marvel. This would be the big, I guess, drawing factor of a platform fighter. When it comes to the Marvel fighting scene, uh, it's been on the absolute down low for years. Marvel vs. Capcom, at least the last one, didn't perform well at all, and so to see some of those characters in a platform fighter sense would definitely draw a lot of attention. Obviously, Disney are only going to pursue a project that they see is profitable, and perhaps maybe they have looked at the likes of Multiverses or All-Star Brawl for uh, Nickelodeon. While I know there was a lot of initial interest around both of those games, if we look at them now, they have kind of died off. But still, it totally wouldn't surprise me that if maybe some point in the near future, we do see something like this, and I could totally see the game being named something like Disney Domination. The only thing that I think would stop Disney from doing this is like, generally speaking, they don't like to see the characters pitted in uh, different formats where the characters are fighting against one another. Uh, I mean, I think this is kind of the sole reason why there wasn't heavy Disney representation when we look at Sora and his inclusion into Super Smash Bros. It's literally just Sora with zero representation of any other Disney characters for the likes of Donald and Goofy being removed off of Sora's stained glass. And yeah, we know that Disney are super fussy when it comes to their characters. In case you guys don't know, Final Fantasy Distidia was originally meant to be Kingdom Hearts Distidia, a Kingdom Hearts fighting game until Disney ended up not okaying the project due to not wanting to see their characters in a fighting game format, which still to this day boggles my mind as technically Kingdom Hearts, there's a lot of fighting in that game. There's also other Disney games where there's a lot of fighting involved. Um, so Disney are very picky when it comes to this kind of thing. Representation, reputation, and image is everything for them. At this stage, I'm not really bothered if something like this happens. I previously would have been if Sora never made uh, his way into Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. The only reason why I'd ever be like, yes, we need a Disney platform fighter would mean that it would probably have Sora and Kingdom Hearts characters as being fighters. But you know, we've got Sora in Smash now, so like, it's not an absolute need situation. However guys, just some food for thought, and I also wanted to uh, basically confirm to you guys that yeah, the leak that is circulating, if you do come across it, it is fake. The Reddit post has been deleted. Uh, that was pretty short-lived, but I think most people could pretty much tell straight off the bat this is indeed fake. Let me know your thoughts, though, about a Disney platform fighter in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. However, guys, I'm Cynical. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day, and we'll talk real soon. Peace.